Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 40s World, where we do scripture reading, Bible dialoguing, and just talking about each passages of the Bible that we find fascinating or we don't find uh, any understanding um, of what we're learning here. So that's why uh, we talk about the Bible. We introduce new information of our perspective of what we think and thus far. Okay, we're still in the books of Ephesians. We're on chapter 2. But just to give you uh, more information about the book of Ephesians, uh, the main thing of Ephesians is the church, which is the body of Christ. Maintain the unity practically with Christ has affected positional by death. Another major theme in Ephesians is the keeping of Christ's body, that is the church, pure and holy, not tainted or distorted in any kind of way for the negative, but it needs to stay pure and holy. Uh, therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children. All right, just give me a little bit more feedback. Now we're going to actually go to um, chapter 2 in Ephesians. Uh, hold on for one second. Okay. Um, it has two subtitles we're going to be talking about. Or let me see here. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's going to be two subtitles for today's scripture reading uh, on Ephesians 2nd chapter. Uh, made alive in Christ and the other subtopic, Jew and Gentiles reconciled through Christ. Okay, so we're going to uh, be reading chapter 2 of Ephesians again, verses 1 through uh, 22. So let's get right on into it. Um, first subtitle is Made Alive in Christ. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air. The spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient spirit of the air is more so geared to Satan and his minions, okay? Uh, transgressors, meaning um, thing that, basically things that you want to do uh, in a sinful pattern. So, um, verse 3, all of us also live among them at one time. Gratifying the cravings of our flesh. And what hits us as human beings right now is uh, having sex, um, not married, uh, being very promiscuous. Um, the gay lifestyle, the lesbian lifestyle, uh, very disheartening to the Lord, very disrespectful. And um, just the, you know, homosexuality is a big deal. And it's like blasphemy towards the Lord in a sense. Uh, a, a lot of that being very so, uh, meaning disrespectful, disobedient to the laws that were given for us to live our lives uh, according to um, perfecting them to be as like the Lord, okay? Then we go to, uh, oh, I'll stop there in verse uh, 3 again. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh. Uh, the flesh is weak. Uh, flesh can make you become and, and stay sinful. Uh, if you give over to the desires that are not or goes against the laws of the Lord. Um says, all of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. 
But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions, uh, meaning sin. It is by grace you have been saved, and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the comparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Uh, the second subtitle, Jew and Gentiles Reconciled Through Christ, verse 11. Therefore, remember that formerly you who are Gentiles by birth and called uncircumcised by those who call themselves the circumcisions, which is done in the body by human hands. Remember that at that time you were separated from Christ, excluding from citizenship in Israel and foreigners to the convents of the promise without hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For him himself is our, for him, no, I'm sorry, for he himself is our peace who has made the two groups one and have destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility. By setting aside in his flesh the law with its commands and regulations, his purpose was to create in himself one new humanity out of two, or out of the two, thus making peace, and in one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross by which he put to death their hostility. He came and preached peace to you who were far away and peace to those who were near. For through him we have, or from, for him, or for through him we both have access to the Father by the one Spirit. Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household. Built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. In him, the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in him, you are two. And in him, you two are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lies or lives by his spirit. Okay, we still got the apostle Paul writing this out. Um, for all who have ears to hear and who have eyes to see, uh, basically. He's still telling um, the Ephesians or the people that from e Ephesus, um, that city or, or country uh, in the old land, if you will. Okay, guys, that was it um, for chapter 2. Verses 1 through 23, I believe it was. No, I'm sorry, 22. Chapter 2, verse 1 through 22. So if you have any questions or concerns, don't forget to put them down in the comment section. And let's talk about it. Okay, other than that, you guys have a blessed and wonderful Wednesday uh, morning, afternoon, or evening. Whenever you're uh, clicking on my YouTube channel. To come and hear a reading of the scripture and dialoguing and doing Bible study with one another. Okay, that's all I got for today. Be blessed, read your Bible, stay prayerful, and um, I'll see you next time for Ephesians chapter 3. Good night.